you know, I took the day off and I just don't know what to do first. <laughs> so I thought, well, you know, I've been wanting to paint these and um, get them spookified for this time of year. So I'm going to go ahead and paint some black paint on these little, what do you call them? I don't know. I call them dress forms, but I mean, there's dresses on them, so who knows? But um, yeah, so let me paint them up. Okay, well I got those two painted black. Now I just have this one left. And let's see, where did I find these? Yeah, and I paid a dollar each at the thrift store. And wait until you see the, when they're done. I think you're gonna like them. They turn out pretty neat, or they have in the past anyway, so I can only expect that they're going to turn out good this time too. And this is a fun little project that I think you would enjoy doing. Um, Alright, well let's get on it. So I just like to kind of squirt some paint on there. So I have a lot there instead of just loading the brush and it starts to kind of flow into like the little cracks in the nooks and that's a little helpful when you don't have spray paint but there's all these little molded ruffles and kind of pleated places that are hard to get into So just work it in with your brush, get it covered pretty well, and I'll see you when they're dry. So these are looking pretty good, they're about dry. Um, I always like to go back in and give them a once over because it seems like on this resin material the acrylic paint does kind of separate where there's uh you know little creases and such it's like it shrinks up as it dries so i like to go back in there and kind of hit those spots and yeah but they're about done about dry and then we're gonna go in and do a little bit of dry brushing okay we're gonna go ahead and get to dry brushing. This is where the magic happens. I have you in frame. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, let's start up here a little bit. Maybe a little too much yet. This is where like the details will kind of start to pop. that I have a I have you kind of out of frame but yeah just put a little dry brush a little antique white or actually any color you want I've done orange on these too and they turn out cute probably see better if I put it you in the lens, in front of the lens. It's like I can't multitask. <laughs> oh goodness. So, let's dry brush, dry brush. Just kind of hit the high spots. I'm sorry, but I think that makes everything look magical. Can you see that? I can't tell yet. I won't know until I go back and look at the video, and then I'll be like, oh, should have done that from a different angle. Well, I hope you're seeing it, but I'm seeing it, and it looks pretty great. If I do say so myself. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, you've got.
guys. Can you see that? Isn't that so much better than that old blue? And you wait till I pop a head on there. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be good. Let's do another one. Do I have it? Okay. Magic. Yeah. I like that. Tell me what you think. Do you guys like it? I mean, I know this isn't um, this isn't for everyone, but it's for some of us. Oh, looks like I stuck my finger in some of the paint. That's okay. It doesn't even matter. You can mess up, and nobody will know you messed up. That is the magic of paint. looking spectacular yet I'm thinking thinking so okay all right she's had a good dusting now let's go to the last okay Try not to stick my finger in it in this time. No promises. Look at that. Can you see that? It just does something wonderful. I really hope this is being caught on camera. And I hope it's focusing. For some reason, I can't get it to focus today. Anything I do. That's all right, I don't focus well either. But look, now you can see the little bows, the little ruffles. I think that looks pretty great. So the next, are we in frame? Let me see here. Maybe that'll be better. Sorry if I'm bouncing you around. The next thing. What do you think? <laughs> Okay, now I don't even remember what I was doing when I turned off the camera because the phone rang. <laughs> but anyway, can you see this? Look how cute. Now we're going to stick this little skull on there. I think that'll be fun. Now I had to take an ice pick and put a hole right here. There was already a hole here, um, I guess just when it was, you know, made. But I had to put a hole here for that. So now we're just gonna hot glue that on there. Can you see there? Some hot glue in the hole. Rip it everywhere. Even in the frame, cracking myself up. Let's see how that is working out. She is one regal looking skeleton. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, so far, we've got her. And we've got this lovely pumpkin head lady. 
Oh, what is that thing? Ooh, a creepy little flying thing just come and visited me. And we've got her. What do you guys think? Well, I decided to bring them inside for you to see them a little differently. Um, that table they were sitting on was not appealing. I thought if you saw them in maybe a little decorated setting, um, it might give you a little better inspiration. Uh, what do you think? I kind of like them. Yeah. <laughs> but look at, once you dry brush a little bit of antique white on that black, it really makes the detail pop. I love that. That's always the most fun when you're painting. It's when you do the little added thing that's going to make it look finished. Yeah. Well, I hope that if you are out and about and you see some little pieces that could be upcycled, that maybe this will give you some inspiration to go ahead and do that. You know, it's fun sometimes just to have a little craft to do that doesn't take very long. Um, these are really fun and I think they look really cute in, you know, your little Halloween scene. And I should put her lower miss pumpkin head but i do i like these skeleton heads i thought that was fun and i i picked those up last year at the dollar tree i believe and i know that they probably have them every year so um hope you like this video i will learn how to do tutorials better next time hopefully i did not have my camera in the right spot but i know that you got the idea and if you have not subscribed to my channel, I hope you will. I thank you for being here. Thank you to those who are subscribed. I appreciate it very much. And please give me a like. And I love getting comments. And tell me what you think. Let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for being here.